Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. We started this morning out with breakfast, with our Advent verse, with some coffee, and then we moved on to play this pin the horn on the unicorn game. The kids have been asking me to play this for quite a while. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go pin the horn where, don't look. Go pin it where you think it goes. That's the whole point is to not see. You wanna watch me do it? Okay. Two, three, four, five. Keep coming. Right here. Okay. Not here. And needless to say, Andy was not a fan of the rules. I think she really likes order and she really wanted the horn to go exactly where it was supposed to go. I just couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> I don't think any of us were very close. So I actually didn't get much filming done on Friday, which is why I ended up combining these two videos. But we had just spent the day, what did we do? I think we were just kind of at home and I really didn't pull the camera out. But we ended up going out for dinner. The kids wanted Happy Meals and we got Jersey Mike's. And then we went to a mandatory meeting for Day of Giving. This is something that we do every year. It's something that our local thrift store does, and it is an outreach ministry program where people can come and they can register. If they do not have the financial ability to buy Christmas presents for their kids, this is a way they can actually come and do that. It's more than just a toy drive, though. It's really empowering to the families because they are able to come and actually shop. So for the day, our local gym gets transformed into a store and there are all of these toys they are nice brand new toys and there are different roles that you can sign up for so on that Friday night we go it's a mandatory meeting and everybody gets to sign up you have everything from greeters to shoppers to rappers to people that will pray with them before they leave so it's just really great after that, I went to Walmart. I had a couple of things that I wanted to pick up, a couple things I needed to pick up. I was out of my concealer. I used this little uh, Age Rewind Click Up Concealer, and of course, like the only shade they were out of was the one that I needed, so I did not get concealer. I still have a little bit left, but as I'm getting low, I normally just try to restock, and they didn't have it. We were out of peanut butter. We usually get this one. I like the way that it tastes. And then Abram has been asking for a roast. My last trip to Aldi, they were out of the cut of beef that I normally use. I think I usually use either a shoulder roast or I think my sister uses a London broil. You'll have to tell me what cut of meat you use whenever you're doing a roast. I know some people also just do like stew meat. Um, so I was looking at this. I think this was maybe like a bottom round. And then I also looked at a rump roast and... I really don't know my cuts of meat well enough to know what makes a good roast in the crock pot and what doesn't. So I decided to pivot and I wanted to have a meal that we could have cooking all day tomorrow while we're at day of giving. So I ended up just getting a few different cans of vegetables so that way I could make crock pot cream cheese chicken chili. I will show you the recipe for it. It's super easy. It's just one of those like dump and go crock pot recipes. No thought and it's always a hit anytime we have it. It's one of my kids favorites. All right, so before I head to bed, I am just putting out my crock pot. I'm kind of assembling all my ingredients and making it so that in the morning it's just very easy. All right, so for the recipe itself, you need chicken, you need a ranch packet. I just use the Aldi brand. You need a couple of spices. I think I use onion powder, chili powder, a little bit of cumin. There's the recipe there, so you can screenshot that if you want to. You do not drain the corn, but you do drain and rinse the black beans, and then you put in a can of Rotel. So you'll see me make that in the morning. And I just had to share this. Brandon came home from Walmart one day this week, and he said, I just couldn't help it. I had to buy this for Andy. And he had no idea that I had seen this display or showed it to you guys on Vlogmas already. 
All right, so it's the morning of day of giving and I'm assembling the chicken chili. Sorry if you don't like seeing raw chicken, but so I just have some chicken breasts there. This was two and I actually only needed one, but they were frozen together. So I ended up just removing it once it was cooked and I'll use it for something else. All right, so black beans drained and rinsed go in. Corn goes in, don't drain it. Rotel goes in. Ranch seasoning goes in, and then you follow that up with the rest of those spices. 10 or 12. Once everything is in, you just give it a good stir, make sure everything's kind of incorporated and on top of the chicken. And then directly on top of that, you put a block of cream cheese, and that's it. Good morning. All right, we are at Day of Giving. I feel very 90s with my little turtleneck beneath my t-shirt. But we are going to go in, we're going to get set up. It is... I don't know, like 7.15 or 7.20. Um, so we're gonna go in and kind of get our places and get ready for the families coming in. So not only do the families get gifts, but they also get stocking stuffers. They get a box of food. They get brownie mix, because the ministry got donated brownie mix. And then the ministry was donated 2,000 pounds of ribs. So every family got to go home with a pack of ribs for Christmas. That's right. Praise God. That's right. His grace is sufficient. Yes. This is the truth. Like, the God of creation saves and then deposited a piece of himself inside of us. And today we get to come together and speak hope and life and freedom and peace over people's lives in the name of Jesus. Yes. All right, so the day is beginning. Everybody is ready. We all know what our job is. We all know what our common mission is, and we are just here to serve people. It's just the best day. It, it really is. I love it so much. So those carts give you an idea of what families are leaving with, and everybody is covered with prayer. Everything is just really well thought out. This is an example of the wrapping station. These are not all of the tables. There are tables behind where you can see. There are tables to the right. There's, there was the table where I was. My biggest issue with being a wrapper is that I'm a little bit slow because I really like to be detailed and meticulous. I will have a wrapping video coming out soon, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. But wrapping is something I really enjoy and I like doing a good job and taking my time. So sometimes I was a little bit on the slower side, but that's okay. We are home from Day of Giving. There are so many things that I could say to sum up what the day is. I'm sure you saw from the footage just how incredible it is. It really is just a very humbling experience. Uh, every year I just enjoy it more and more. It's so fun to be a part of. It's so many different churches coming together and just like serving for this one common purpose. It definitely makes me count my blessings. And someone said today, you know, Everybody has a story to tell, not just the people we're serving, but every volunteer there, and it was just such a good day. So anyway, there's so much more that I could say, but I think the footage just kind of speaks for itself, so I'll just leave that there. We came in the door to the wonderful smell of chicken chili, and I was very thankful. Even though my plan for a roast didn't work for a couple different reasons, the chicken chili will be so good. So we're just gonna have that with some chips and maybe some sour cream. I have set out a new puzzle that I got after Christmas last year and we've not put it together. So I thought we might do that and we'll just kind of hang out for the evening. I feel like, I was telling Brandon, I feel like the past week has needed to be a lot of to-dos just because it needed to be. There were some home things, some decorating things, and of course there will still be to-dos for the rest of December, but I really just want to invest in the kids invest in our family and just celebrate Christmas without there being so much cleaning and uh, decorating. But really, we're almost done with all of that. So, you know, I think I have like one more pile of things in the kitchen I need to address and then 
then I'll feel good. So we actually just finished out our evening by eating the chicken chili and by watching a Christmas movie. We watched Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. I love those Mickey Christmas movies. I just think that they are so fun. And then we put a fireplace on the TV and we started to work on our puzzle. guys this is where we left the puzzle for the night thank you so much for watching and i will catch back up with you tomorrow